The European Union is replicating an incredibly tough stance it has taken with China in the ongoing post-Brexit trade talks with the UK, a political expert has warned, as negotiations between Brussels and London prepare to enter a critical week. China and the EU have been locked in talks since 2013, when efforts began to produce an investment agreement which would deliver predictable, long-term mutual access to both markets. There have so far been 31 negotiating rounds, including the one earlier this month. The Comprehensive Agreement on Investment CHI, EU being treated in China the way Chinese businesses are treated in the EU, is currently one of the core topics of discussion. Beijing also wants to agree a 2025 cooperation agenda with the EU, which could reset Sino-European relations in areas ranging from climate control and energy security to science and technology. But both the 2025 cooperation agenda and the CHI are dependent on the satisfaction of a set of issues which include level playing field considerations, one of the major elements which has proved to be a huge stumbling block in trade talks between the EU and UK. Naomi Smith is chief executive of nonpartisan advocacy group Best for Britain, who are campaigning for a comprehensive UK-EU trade deal, told politics.co.uk. The EU has made it clear that level playing field considerations, as well as other areas of contention such as fisheries policy, must be addressed as a matter of priority in any trade negotiations. If it's not prepared to budge for mighty China, it's not likely to roll over for the UK, given that would create a low-cost competitor on its doorstep and undercut EU businesses. But the Chinese deal also reveals something more deep-seated about the UK-EU negotiations. There is, right now, a historic opportunity to build on our proximity to Europe, if we seize the same advantages that the Chinese are seeking. This is why business leaders and organizations such as Best for Britain have been pushing the government to agree a comprehensive trade deal with the EU. With the economies reeling from the impact of COVID, it has never been more important to maximize mutual economic benefits.